Hi today we talk about production scheduling. Its purpose, components and techniques like forward, backward, finite, infinite and role of manufacturing lead time with example, let's start. What is production scheduling? Production scheduling is the process of planning and organizing production activities to optimize time, resources, and efficiency. It involves determining the sequence and timing of tasks to meet production goals while minimizing costs. Purpose to align production processes with delivery deadlines, resource availability, and market demand. Key objectives. Ensure timely delivery. Optimize resource utilization. Minimize inventory and waste. Balance workload across resources. Components of production scheduling. Tasks and operations. Specific jobs that need to be completed in the production process. Resources. Includes labor, machinery, and materials. Priorities. Establishing the order of operations based on deadlines and resource availability. Constraints. Includes capacity limits, labor hours, and material availability. Lead time. The total time taken from order initiation to product delivery. Role of manufacturing lead time. Manufacturing lead time, MLT, is critical in production scheduling as it determines the time frame for completing a product. Components of MLT Processing time, PT The actual time spent on each operation in the production process. Setup time, ST The time required to prepare equipment for the production of a specific product. Q time, QD Waiting time before operations commence. Move time, MT Time spent transporting materials between workstations. Inspection time, IT. Time required for quality checks. Formula for MLT is below. Scheduling techniques. 1. Forward scheduling. Definition. Planning starts from the current date and moves forward until all tasks are scheduled. Principle. Finish as early as possible. Here the assumption is material procurement and operations will start after the order is received. Whatever be the delivery date, the operation gets scheduled forward from the current date. Use case, suitable when delivery dates are flexible. Example, here tasks ABC are scheduled in forward scheduling. 2. Backward scheduling. Definition, planning starts from the delivery deadline and works backward to determine the start date. Principle, start as late as possible. Here last operation on the routing is scheduled first and it is scheduled for completion at the order due date and then previous operations scheduled back from the last operation. Use case, ideal for projects with fixed delivery dates. Example, here tasks ABC are scheduled in backward scheduling. Here is the unified diagram for both of the tasks, we can see forward scheduling start from current day and get finished before the due date whereas backward scheduling start from due date and provide the latest start date as day 7, to fulfill order as per the due date. Benefits and challenges of forward and backward scheduling. For forward scheduling. Benefits. Identifies delays early. Maximizes resource utilization. Provides flexibility for unexpected tasks. Simplifies scheduling for open-ended deadlines. Challenges. Higher inventory holding costs due to early production. Risk of overproduction, especially for perishable goods. May not align well with strict delivery deadlines. Less focus on customer-specific deadlines. For backward scheduling. Benefits. Ensures on-time delivery. Reduces inventory holding costs. Prioritizes critical deadlines effectively. Enhances customer satisfaction by meeting deadlines. Challenges. Tight scheduling margins increase delay risks. Higher risk of bottlenecks from resource conflicts. Complex to implement with detailed production timelines. Less adaptable to changes once production begins. 3. Infinite scheduling. Definition, assumes unlimited resource availability and focuses on task sequencing. It does not consider the constraint and presence of other orders. Advantages, quick to implement. Limitation, unrealistic and may lead to resource conflicts as resource might not be available to perform the tasks. Here is the example of infinite scheduling with capacity loading profile, in this loading can happen more than the available capacity. 4. Finite scheduling. Definition, considers resource constraints and schedules within capacity limits. 
It checks whether capacity is available or not, if the capacity is not available then task will get scheduled to next available time slot. Advantages, realistic and practical. Limitation, more complex to execute because it requires to consider all possible constraints while scheduling. Here is the example of finite scheduling with capacity loading profile, here available capacity of machine get considered, hence schedule get extended to day 4. Advanced concepts like operation overlapping and operation splitting to reduce manufacturing lead time, will be discussed in next video so please subscribe the channel. So that's it for today see you in next video.